folks today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Boca Plus XS drop point I've already been in um, I'll just show you what you get in the box I've already obviously had a look at the knife so open it up so you've got the um, hex bit for stripping the knife and tightening it up um, you also have the warranty instructions on top so the knife will be in here that's laying on top lovely magnetized box which is quite nice nice touch so let's get to it I'm not too bothered about that part so here it is I got this from Moonraker for $56.95 which is 60 something dollars it's got G10 handles the blade is 440C and it is left and right handed tip up so as you can see you can move the clip from left to right but not tip down not a problem for me I don't like tip down anyway so it has a 20 degree angle hollow grind as you can see now the original was a clip point which I'll show you in a minute um, the blade Rockwell is 58 HRC which is quite a nice hardness out of the box um, very shaving sharp as you can see literally I'm just skimming straight over that probably one of the sharpest knives I've had out of the box <sighs> so let's weigh it and then we can have some measurements According to these, it's 105 grams. I'll just show you. Time for some measurements. And then I shall have a little ramble about it. So, closed. It is 13 mil. The width, 35 mil. The thickness, including the clip, is 19mm. I love the opening on this, it's brilliant. The blade thickness is 3mm. That's for you guys, 3mm. Now for me, I find this a big improvement on the other. Because of the shape of the blade, I just prefer it. So I measure that at 66 mil on the cutting surface. So that's well within the three inch limit, without a good reason. The whole blade is 78 mil. So now for a side by side with the original OD green. The OD green isn't necessarily the original, but this shape is. So this is a stone wash. Now I shall show you this different blade shapes. Now for me, I do prefer this drop point. The reason for this is, I have seen numerous pictures online where people have snapped the tip off. God knows what they was doing. But I just prefer the drop point anyway. I find it much easier for getting in there, doing intricate work. And if someone, say, likes hunting or cooking, this shape lends itself a little more, in my opinion, because for the gutting process, it gets in much easier. Now, for me, out of all the UK legal knives I've got, this is the best choil, hands down. There's just no comparison. I'm going to try and shut this on my hands. That's literally moving two millimetres. Let's try that in ice pick. Can't see why you'd want to use it like that, but that's moved three, three or four mil, as you can see, but there's still no chance of it shutting. Not many UK legal knives will do that, which is quite a little bonus, really. So let's compare it to a Swiss Army knife blade for 
everyone because everyone knows what one of them looks like this is just the huntsman and that's what we're looking at in difference um, for me I personally always carry a Swiss Army knife to go with my main blade just because it's vast array of tools my overall thoughts and opinions on this is it is definitely an improvement to the standard clip point here's another reason why for me they've got rid of the jim pin and it's got a nice square finish rather than a rounded finish now if you was to look at the XS you can see daylight between there I hate that for me that is poor fit and finish now also I will make note of is the UK PK drop point also has that gappiness now I really don't like that because for me that helps create blade play not a lot but still for knives of this price I don't expect to see any unless obviously you're being really rough because it is still just a slip joint for me I would recommend this to anyone who just wants a nice UK legal pen knife um, 440C you can get very sharp it's got medium retention depending on the heat treat but the main thing is for me is it's easy to sharpen now I do have super steel knives they do stay sharp longer but I do find them harder to sharpen so yes you do get some edge retention but you will spend longer sharpening it so 440C I'm not really much of a steel snob unless it comes to bushcrafting knives and fixed blade knives so my opinion on that is if I need a knife enough to use it constantly I'll have good reason and I'll probably have a box cutter or something similar I personally see a lot of cardboard cutting till it's blunt if I need to cut lots of cardboard up I personally use a box cutter because then I'll just throw the blade away rather than having to sharpen it but I think for a pocket knife this is more than adequate the next point to mention is both of them have this crap pocket clip the reason why I think it's crap is because it's shallow carry and this butt does stick out so even if I force this down in my trousers or jeans there'll still be this much showing not a legal problem for any reason but it certainly shows people you've got a knife in your pocket now I'd rather not do that just because I don't want to ask well to have to explain myself to any um, police constable although this is perfectly legal to have please always check section 139 if you're in the UK I'm not a lawyer and it's not my problem if you get stopped and um, prosecuted so please always read up I will say because I don't like this pocket clip I've got a better suggestion for its carry now I have been doing this and I find this a heck of a lot better now what I do is I put it in my waistband so say in your jeans or if you've got shorts on if you was to slide this down your waistband your t-shirt covers that anyway you really do not know it's even there and another important point I'll mention about that is you've still got loads of room in your normal pockets so I'd well recommend anyone who's got one of these bokers with these shallow pocket clips or anything similar do try it in your waistband honest it is really useful so I'll pop some pictures in please like and subscribe I've got quite a few more to do um, for example a quick peek TVS Boar Stag and um, changing my uh, UK legal pocket carry EDC because obviously it's the warmer weather and I don't want as much in my pockets so please like and subscribe and stay tuned and thanks for watching